Custom Studio today, John Lidke, co-owner of Higher Limits and Cannabis Advocate. Let's go to our calls, 519-792-2559. Dan is joining us. Dan, what's your take on this? to the plan. I break out in hives if I'm near it. I scratch like no tomorrow if it's around me. Uh, if I breathe it in, I get sick to my stomach instantly. And if I actually toke it, my lungs decide they don't want to work anymore. So, like, it's all fine and dandy. We want to legalize this. And, you know, I understand the, the medicinal value of it all and all that stuff. But who's going to take care of me when I'm walking down the street or when I actually have to close my windows and keep my air conditioner on all year round? Uh, when I have to, I, I can barely get out of my car. I'm not going to be able to go downtown because it's just going to be a big puff of smoke. Like, I don't think I don't think they really thought this through 100%. I do know we have a very small minority of people that have an allergy to this, but we should be thinking of the whole big picture, not just the little bits and pieces. So you're thinking, Dan, that a, that many more people. I'm sorry, you're thinking that many more people are going to be smoking, so you're going to be exposed to it more so than you are today. I'm, I'm exposed to it today as it is. My, some number of my neighbors do it, and they, they do it in a non-small amount. Uh, but once it's legalized, yeah, there is going to be an abundance of people that are going to be doing it. It's going to, it's going to exponentially just explode. Yeah, there's going to be a, a, a steady fall to it, and then it's going to come to a norm. But even then, with the basic norm, with what I have to deal with today as it being illegal, I'm going to have to deal with this exponentially worse. And just a side note, thanks, Sean. That song actually pretty much hit pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to see, Dan, a place then? What would be your ultimate, that you would rather see a place where we would go? So if I want to, so if I want to go and light up a joint or party or whatever... I would do it in my home, or I would go to a place like Higher Limits. You don't want people walking down the street. Like, what would it be for you? Well, you know what? We're not allowed to walk down the streets with open containers. So I don't think it should be uh, legalized to the point where cigarettes uh, are legalized. Even cigarettes are being pushed out. Yeah. So, yeah, they should have uh, have designated places uh, that if, uh, if, if it's allowed, yeah, okay, we're going to allow you to come in here and smoke in our establishment and stuff like that. But... There should still be a ban when it comes down to actually having it, uh, having it out in public. Like you shouldn't be able to walk around with it in your hand. Basically. Okay. John. Well, hi Dan, and I understand where you're coming from. I think that there needs to be a lot of concern taken for all members of society. It can't just be legalizing this for those who want to consume the substance. And you're talking about something that I've been talking about from the beginning, which is the need for safe spaces in public. For people to be able to consume this substance there are going to be people that don't want to interact with it as well as there's going to be people that want to interact with it so that's why we opened up higher limits to provide medical cannabis users a place that was safe for them to congregate off of public streets out of alleyways if you will even in the downtown core and they're away from the general public and in our interactions with windsor police and with politicians they've recognized that we've provided this very necessary safe space space now, I think that under legalization, businesses should be able to choose whether or not they want to interact with cannabis or not. And I think that you might find there are certain restaurants or coffee shops or even bookstores that might decide that they want to allow for cannabis usage on premise, as there will be other ones which choose not to allow for it. Now, when you talk about walking down the street, that is, that's a little bit more difficult to unbox. Um, currently, medical cannabis users are going to be able to consume their medication walking down the street, anywhere. If they need to take their medication, they can take their medication. And we've spoken about mm -hmm. that many times. Um, now, as for recreational cannabis, you'll be pleased to know that the province of Ontario, through the Smoke Free Ontario Act, and the city of Windsor, through our smoking bylaws, has rendered it virtually impossible to smoke recreational cannabis when it becomes recreational anywhere in the city. So parks, marinas, fields of play, sports fields, beaches, Cannabis usage, when it is legal, will not be allowed there. You won't be able to combust it. You won't be able to vape it. And while I disagree with these legislations, I think that you'll probably appreciate them because of where you, you're coming from. Yeah, and I have to, I have to agree with Dan and disagree with you.